Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yaka, Kadash, Barak, Atham, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, who we will. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect individual. This is your brother, Azar, coming at you with another lesson from the GMS Miami camp. And today, I want to talk about uh, Yahweh Shai died for our sins. Yahweh Shai died for our sins. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start off by reading. Um, first, let me go back. Let me go back. I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself. Let's go to the book of uh, Romans. Okay. Let's go to the book of Romans. Uh, chapter 5, verse 6. And it reads as follows. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ, I mean, in due time, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach died for the ungodly. Okay? Okay. So Yahweh Shai died for the ungodly, meaning he died for um he died for our sins. Because when you ungodly, what do you do? You off. Okay? Now let's look at that word. Okay. Let's look at that. <clears throat> let's look up that word godly. All right. Okay. Oh, let me go back. It's lucky for us. Okay, let me go back. Godly. Okay, here we go. Ungodly, irreligious, not God fearing, not in accordance with the laws of Yahweh. So if you're not in the laws within the laws of Yahweh, then you are a sinner. You're going off. Okay. And it says in Romans six, five and six. Let's go back to it. Okay. Romans 5 and 6. All right. Let me see here. Let me go back. Romans 5 and 6. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach died for the ungodly. Okay. And what do we say um, ungodly meant? Let's go back. Okay. Irreligious, not God fearing. So if you're ungodly, you are not God. I mean, uh, God fearing. You're not fearing the Most High Power. Okay, not fearing the Most High Power, and that's going off. You know, that's going off. Okay. Now let's go to uh, Romans. Okay, Book of Romans again, and this time we had uh, Romans five and eight. But Yahweh cometh. I mean, Salakia. But Yahweh command, commandeth His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shahamashiach died for us. Point blank. While we were yet sinners, Yahweh Shah Mashiach died for us. Okay? So Yahweh Shah died for our sins. Okay? He died for us. Okay? Um, let's see here. Let's go to Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. Okay, chapter 2 and verse uh, 9. Okay, there it is. But we see Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who was made a little, a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of Yahweh, should taste death for every man. Why did he taste death for every man? Well, um... Romans 5 and 6 says, you know, when you go back, Romans 5 and 6, okay, Romans 5, 
and 6. It says, For when we were without strength in due time, Yahweh Shahamashiach died for the ungodly. Okay? All right? And, um, okay, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. So Yahweh Shah died for the ungodly, man. Okay? Okay, let me go back to Hebrews. Hebrews, Hebrews, Hebrews. Okay. Two and nine. Okay. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of Yahweh should taste death for every man. Why? Because man was ungodly. He was in sin. He wasn't recognizing, man was not, you know, was not recognizing the laws of, respecting the laws of statutes and commandments that the Most High uh, gave to us. You know, we, 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 I, well, I shouldn't say man, I say we, I should say we, Salaki brothers. We, because I am, you know, I, I probably did some, well, I know I did something to offend the Heavenly Father in, 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 in um, the past life, you know. But we were ungodly. So Yahweh Shah had to be that sacrifice, man. That he, by the grace of Yahweh, should taste death for every man. Okay? <clears throat> it's, it's like him. All right. Let's go to um, First Peter. Okay. Now we're going to go to First Peter. Um, chapter 3. Verse 18. For Yahweh Shai Hamashiach also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to Yahweh, being put to death in flesh, in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Okay. So Yahweh Shai was that middle, middle man connecting us. Well, I wouldn't say middle man. I was I would say he was that he was that that source that was gonna connect us to the Heavenly Father. Cause, you know, us being ungodly, man, we can't go to the Heavenly Father like that, you know. So the most high, I mean Yah so like Yahweh Shai had to bring us back to the Father. And how did he do that? Well, he died for us. He died for our sins. Okay? He died for our sins. Alright? Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to bring out uh, one more precept. And that is the book of, uh, let's see here. First Peter. Actually, yeah, I, should, I can just stay right there. First Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shah HaMashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that has suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Sin. Okay. Now, what does suffer mean? Okay. Well, let's go look it up. Okay. Let's go look it up. So Yahweh Shai not only not only died for us, but he suffered for us. Okay. Okay, let's look up the word suffer. Okay. Suffer. Okay. Allow. To occur. Continue. Permit. Tolerate. Okay. Endorse. Be subjected. So, Yahweh Shai subjected himself to, to death. Okay. So that we can be right with the Heavenly Father, man. Alright. He endured. Okay, he tolerated, it says tolerate, you know, he tolerated a lot of things, you know, so that we may be closer to the Heavenly Father. Okay, it says pain, death, punishment, judgment, grief, okay, uh, fail to, pre to prevent or, or surpass, okay, also to be made, to undergo, to endure, to be subjected. Okay, 
So Yahweh Shai Hamashiach went through a lot for us, man, that we may be brought, you know, that we may be made worthy, you know, to the most high, man. You know. You know, that's that's beautiful, man, that Yahweh Shai did that, man. You know? Cause he didn't, you know, Yahweh Shai, man, that's wow, that's that's Yahweh's son, man. That's Yahweh's son. You know? But uh, let me stop right here. You know, we're just going to keep it simple. And uh, I hope this lesson was edifying. Till next time, all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makah, Kadash, Barak, Atham, Shalom.